Charles Chuck Palumbo is an American former professional wrestler, mechanic, and reality television personality best known for his wrestling career in World Championship Wrestling and World Wrestling Federation Entertainment. Throughout his wrestling career, he was a six-time World Tag Team Champion. In addition to his professional wrestling career, Palumbo is a mechanic and car motorcycle enthusiast and currently stars in the Discovery reality show Rusted Development, Professional Wrestling Career, World Championship Wrestling Training and Undercard Palumbo began his career in 1998 on the independent circuit. Using a surfer gimmick and the ring name, The Dude, he made his debut appearance on World Championship Wrestling S. Nitro on October 19. 1998 as a fan who accepted the challenge of Ernest the Cat Miller. Six months later, he was offered a training contract by WCW in April 1999. Palumbo's initial WCW run was under the name Jungle Jim, his gimmick being a man of the jungle. Palumbo was undefeated in matches on the lower tier programs, which were mostly against other power plant graduates. World Tag Team Champion in 2000, Palumbo made his debut on the March 22, 2000 edition of Thunder under his real name, losing to Scott Steiner. After this match, Palumbo was chosen by Bischoff and Russo to be the New Bloods version of Lex Luger in May 2000. He was given the nickname, The Main Event. Palumbo feuded with Luger until late May 2000 when Palumbo formed a team called The Perfect Event, with Sean Stashiak and the pair won the WCW World Tag Team Championship. Their main feud was against Kronik. In August, Stashiak and Palumbo helped form the natural-born thrillers with Mike Sanders, Sean O'Hare, Mark Jindrick, and Reno. They were briefly coached by Kevin Nash. Palumbo and Stashiak won the WCW Tag Team Championship two more times before splitting in early January 2001 when he and Stashiak won a tag team battle, Royal with O'Hare and Jindrick for a future tag team title shot. After the conclusion of the match Mike Sanders declared both teams victorious and that any combination of the four would face the insiders. Palumbo and O'Hare were the two members of the Natural Born Thrillers who would face and defeat Page and Nash for the tag titles at Sin on January 14, 2001. Following the title victory, the Natural Born Thrillers broke up when the team of Jindrick and Stashiak became jealous of Palumbo and O'Hare. The teams faced each other at Super Bowl Revenge on February 18, 2001 for the tag team title, which Palumbo and O'Hare retained. The duo also retained the title against Totally Buffed at Greed in March, WCW's last pay-per-view. On the final episode of Nitro, Palumbo and O'Hare defeated Team Canada's Mike Awesome and Lance Storm in the final WCW World Tag Team Championship title defense on the program. World Wrestling Entertainment The Alliance Palumbo and O'Hare made their WWF debuts on the June 28, 2001, episode of SmackDown. As part of the Alliance, attacking the Hardy Boys, O'Hare and Palumbo started feuding with the Acolytes Protection Agency in the following weeks, which ended at WWF Invasion on July 22, 2001 when the APA defeated him. Subsequently, O'Hare and Palumbo defeated the Hardy Boys on the August 2, 2001 edition of SmackDown. O'Hare and Palumbo next dropped the WCW Tag Team title to the Brothers of Destruction on the August 9, 2001 edition of SmackDown, and lost their rematch for the Tag Team Gold in a steel cage match the following week on Raw. O'Hare and Palumbo's last televised match together was on the August 26 edition of Heat defeating the Holly Cousins. O'Hare was sent to Developmental Territory Ohio Valley Wrestling in early September 2001, and Palumbo was thrown out of the Alliance in late October by storyline co-owner of the Alliance, Stephanie McMahon. He joined the WWF in November. Billy and Chuck when he returned, Palumbo found a tag team partner in Billy Gunn. 
The pair started as a tag team working dark matches, but were later given a gimmick that saw the pair grow increasingly affectionate towards each other, showing evidence of a homosexual relationship. Palumbo became known simply as Chuck, and he bleached his hair blonde to match guns. On the February 2, 2002 edition of SmackDown, Billy and Chuck defeated Taz and Spike Dudley to win the World Tag Team Championship. They lost the tag team goal to Rikishi and their stylist Rico Constantino, who was forced to team with Rikishi on May 19, 2002 at Judgment Day. Less than a month later Rico helped Billy and Chuck recapture the title, but they later lost it to Edge and Hulk Hogan. In the second half of 2002, Billy and Chuck were the source of controversy when Chuck apparently proposed to Billy on September 5, 2002 edition of SmackDown, asking him to be his partner for life. They had a marriage ceremony on the 2002 season premiere of SmackDown. Just before they tied the knot, however, they revealed that the entire ordeal was a publicity stunt, and both characters disavowed their on-screen homosexuality. When Billy and Chuck decided not to go through with the marriage, Rico turned on them by helping Eric Bischoff and three-minute warning attack the duo. Rico subsequently jumped to Raw as the manager of Three Minute Warning, who beat Billy and Chuck at Unforgiven. Billy was injured in early October 2002, and Chuck worked on Velocity for a few months using his original ring name Chuck Palumbo once again. The full-blooded Italians and departure in February 2003, Palumbo formed the full-blooded Italians in WWE, a faction which had previously been seen in extreme championship wrestling. After a beating at the hands of Rikishi, Nunzia threatened to bring in his family in order to gain revenge. The next week, Chuck Palumbo and Johnny the Bull Stambali joined Nunzio to form the FBI and attacked Rikishi. This version initially gained little success but would go on to have brief feuds with Los Guerreros, Chris Benoit, Rina, Brian Kendrick, Nathan Jones, The APA, and The Undertaker. Palumbo was traded to the Raw brand on March 22, 2004 along with A-Train in exchange for Rico and Jackie Gaydar. After Palumbo was traded to the Raw brand, he was kept off television until July 2004, when he debuted with a new look and entrance music. His new image resembled a cross between an auto mechanic and a greeter. He would later give himself the nickname Custom Chucky P. It was not long before Palumbo was a regular on Sunday Night Heat. His new gimmick started off usually losing matches but began to rise on heat, defeating the likes of The Hurricane, Rosie, Val Venice and Stevie Richards. On the October 31, 2004 airing of Heat, Palumbo had his most high-profile match on the Raw brand when he faced former World Heavyweight Champion Chris Benoit, but was defeated. Palumbo was released by WWE soon after on November 4, 2004. Independent Circuit Palumbo, along with Johnny Stambouli, went on to become a member of Voodoo Murders of All Japan Pro Wrestling and feuded against Roughly Obsess and Destroy. Palumbo teamed with former FBI partner Stambouli to challenge for the World Tag Team Championship on March 20, 2005 but were defeated by Jamal and Tayo Kira of R.O.N.D. Stambouli and Palumbo's next stop would be with the new wrestling Evolution promotion in Italy, where the pair reformed the FBI. The duo also made appearances in a World Wrestling Council show where they challenged Ultimo Dragon, Mr. Ko, and Negro Cars. In a tag team match which they would win by securing both the first and third falls. Return to WWE during March 2006, Palumbo began working dark matches for both brands of WWE. He continued to wrestle very sporadically at house shows and in dark matches over the next year. Palumbo officially returned on the May 25, 2007 edition of Heat defeating Charlie Haas. He then continued making appearances on Heat, where he consistently defeated jobbers. 
On July 6, 2007, Palumbo made his SmackDown Red debut, defeating Kenny Dykstra in his return match. In an interview with WWE.com, Palumbo claimed that the biker character was not a gimmick and that he works on bikes two or three times a week. A Palumbo-made motorcycle was featured in the April issue of American Iron magazine. Palumbo began a storyline with Michelle McCool, which led to a scripted rivalry with Jamie Noble. After Noble made advances towards Palumbo's girlfriend, McCool, with Noble winning two consecutive matches. In their third encounter, Noble won a date with McCool, after her inadvertent distraction led to Noble winning the match. Afterward, Palumbo blamed McCool for the loss. On the January 4, 2008, episode of SmackDown, McCool was pinned by Victoria in a mixed tag match, also featuring Palumbo and Dykstra. This defeat gave Palumbo his fourth loss in a row and Palumbo again blamed McCool for the loss. The following week on SmackDown, Palumbo again faced Noble, this time in a Royal Rumble qualifying match. Noble again beat Palumbo, giving him his fifth loss in a row. After Noble left the ring, Palumbo attempted to take his anger and frustration out on McCool, which brought Noble back out and he distracted Palumbo long enough for McCall to get out of the ring. On January 26, a double turn started as Noble checked on an injured McCall and Palumbo attacked to him, becoming a villain, while Noble would turn into a face character. On the next SmackDown, Palumbo apologized to McCall, but she slapped him, leading to him vowing to get revenge on Noble. He defeated him the following week, before the storyline abruptly ended. As part of the 2008 WWE Supplemental Draft, Palumbo was drafted to the Raw brand. He never made his return to the brand, however, as he was released from his WWE contract on November 7, 2008. Independent Circuit In November 2009, Palumbo won the Hugh Championship from Brett Meadows in Braintree, England. He, however, lost the championship back to Meadows two days later in Colchester, England. Later career Palumbo fabricates custom motorcycles for his business CP Customs and also plays in his own band, Three Spoke Wheel. In 2014, he began co-hosting the Discovery Channel's rusted development with custom car builder Rick Dahl. He spoke of his retirement from wrestling on the debut of the show. For the second season the show was renamed Rusted Development. Personal Life Palumbo's brother, Chris, is a war hero, often mentioned in commentary during Palumbo's televised matches. Chris was awarded several medals for his military service in Afghanistan. Palumbo also has two younger sisters, Kelly and Liz. Palumbo has a daughter Charlie and now resides in an El Cajon, CA. Palumbo owns Chuck Palumbo's garage gym in El Cajon, CA. Palumbo remains good friends with fellow professional wrestler Mark Jindrick. He was also close to former tag partner Sean O'Hare, who died September 8, 2014, in wrestling. Finishing moves as Chuck Palumbo Backbreaker Rack 2000, parodied from Lex Luger Full Throttle 2006 to 2008 Italian Drop 2003-2004, used as a signature move from 2005 to 2008 Superkick 1998 to 2005 as Jungle Gym Jungle Kick. Signature moves catapult chuck deluxe discus elbow smash diving shoulder block fall away slam padlock running big boot springboard drop kick. Manages Rico Pete Doyle Michelle McCool. Nicknames The Main Event. Entrance Themes I've Got It All by Jim Johnston You Look So Good To Me by Jim Johnston You Will Remember Me by Jim Johnston and Howard Jones. Championships and Accomplishments. Hertfordshire and Essex Wrestling Hugh Heavyweight Championship, Pro Wrestling Illustrated PWI Tag Team of the Year, with Billy PWI ranked him number 37 of the top 500 singles wrestlers in the PWI 500 in 2002, Tourum and Yamaha Cup.
World Championship Wrestling WCW World Tag Team Championship with Sean Stashiak and Sean O'Hare, World Wrestling Federation, World Wrestling Entertainment WWE World Tag Team Championship with Billy.